Marion and I am a theatre facilitator and children's storyteller and welcome to Every Home's a Theatre with Mousetrap Theatre Projects. Now this week's challenge is Shakespeare's puppet pandemonium and I am going to share how you can create your very own piece of puppet theatre. Because all the world's a stage. Thanks, Will. And we would like you to film it and enter it into our competition, but I'll explain how at the end of this video. But let's get started. So first of all, you're going to need to pick your favorite Shakespeare play. I wrote over 37 of them, you know. Or perhaps you would like to do one of my sonnets. Shall I compare the you to a summer's day? Oh, go on, Will. <laughs> I wasn't talking about her. Or um, maybe you want to be inspired by one of my many characters. Like, check out this hilarious footage I got earlier. Out, damn spot. Out, I say. Just washing my hands. Very important thing to do at the moment. The next thing you need to do is decide on what type of puppet you want to use. For example, a finger puppet, a sock puppet, a string puppet. Maybe you want to make up a puppet. Or perhaps you've got one lying around at home like uh, this fella here. Go on then, take it away. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Excellent. If you don't have any puppets at home, then do not worry. You could always have a go at making your own. No, no, I'm real. Sorry, Will. You are actually a polystyrene ball, an old party hat, some googly eyes and some very cleverly placed pipe cleaners. Don't listen to her. Or if that seems a bit too tricky, keep things simple. Why not draw yourself your favourite character on a piece of paper and then cut it out and then you can stick it to a lolly stick. Failing that, pencil will do just as nicely. And then there you have it. You've got some characters for your show. Even some household objects could be turned into puppets. All you've got to do is use your imagination and breathe a little bit of life into them. Let me introduce you to Rolio and Spatulette. What? That was a good joke. Come on, that was good. That was a good one. Once you have your puppets, think about how you want to perform your show. Maybe think about the genre that it is written in. Is it a tragedy? Is it a history? Is it a comedy? Is it a romance? Let that help you set an atmosphere. Maybe lighting will help, or maybe shadow puppetry will help you set your scene. Is this a dagger which I see before me? And where are you going to perform your show? Do you need to make yourself a stage? Do you need to do some backdrops? Do you need to uh, be the stage? For Theramis and Thisbe says the story did talk through the chink of a wall. Hello, my lover. Oh, darling, hello. I'm so glad to see you. Let Shakespeare inspire your imagination. Maybe you want to rewrite one of his classics. Maybe you want to use his stories, but add in all your own ideas. Maybe you want to make it more modern or set it in a different time. Two households, both alike in isolation because of Corona. That's where we lay our scene. To pee or not to pee. So now it is over to you to make your very own Shakespeare puppet inspired video. Just be creative and make it your own. Why not get your family involved? Maybe your parents or even your pets. And Mousetrap would love it if you could share it with them on social media. Because if you do, you're in with a chance of winning some theatre tickets. Post your videos and tag Mousetrap on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to use the hashtag Every Home's a Theatre. When weekly challenges come to an end, the Mousetrap team will be selecting some of their favourite videos and awarding the creators some top Western theatre tickets. So best of luck everyone!